Cox to take this opening draw against Daskus. And we're underway here from Lewiston, New York, as the Purple Eagles have corner for Stanley. Now out for Harper, cross pass, Cox. Takes the shot, he scores! No goal, they say, and now it's in! Brandon Stanley didn't stop, he kept on going, he puts the puck in! Kendall for Mishak, Mishak dances his way around one, walks in, in the slot, he scores! It's a cook, he can't corral it, now streaking down the wing is Corsak, stops, makes a move, Corsak, around Schilling in front, they score! Corsak applying pressure on Levin, Cox winds up, he scores! He got denied by the iron last time, not this time, this one finds the top of the net. Uh, right back to Summer, top of the circle, Billings in the slot, has it now, Summer in front, Evanson scores! Delay penalty oh. call still coming up, but Niagara has possession. Evanson, a bouncer towards the front of the net, they score! Clear can't get it by the Purple Eagles, as Mishak has it in the slot. Quick one on, on LaRock to save, the rebound, they score! Again, it's number seven on the day! And the whistle sounds and the horn has yet to sound, but the clock reads all zeros. The Purple Eagles will take this one seven to two. Your final score from Joy Arena is Niagara surrounds their victorious netminder, Mike Corson. Hey, well, appreciate your patience, first of all. Thank you very much. Uh, just, uh, you know, was really, really thankful for, for the group and uh, what we've worked on here and, and sticking with the plan uh, that we put in place for them and the process that they've worked on, and then you get the product of that game. So. I thought our uh, I thought Air Force was was everything that they always are. They, they're a well coached team. They're very consistent. They're hard to play against. They they never stop. I thought that uh, the the past and present Purple Eagles were really impressive this week. They did a great job with a with a Christmas dinner for our team, and I got the chance to talk to a bunch of them this week, and it was really fun to see their passion for for Niagara University. So that that was outstanding. Uh, in terms of in terms of how our environment operates, I was really impressed by a couple guys. I thought Jack Billings showed great leadership. I thought Mikey Corson bounced back from from a tough game the other night, and I thought John Hill was such a great teammate to step up and, and move from forward to D at the end of the game and, and help us out with Chris Harper being out. So that was outstanding. Uh, offensively, it was nice to see us continue to create chances and, and score a few more goals. I think we've led the conference so far in chances for, and it was nice to see him pop in there tonight. Uh, defensively, I thought we did a better job in front of Mike, not giving up as much chaotic uh, nature to things and allowed him to see a lot of pucks that, that he handled very well. And then obviously the special teams, uh, the power play was real good tonight and, and the PK made a difference at important times. Hey coach, how are you? Good, Mike. Great to see you. Good to see you, too. Uh, just, you know, after the last couple of games, it, it seemed like things went right tonight, where maybe in the last couple of games, those those shots didn't go in. Uh, what do you attribute that to? Yeah, you know what? I attribute that to our staff. I thought the staff had a great idea the other day about doing some skill work and on uh, losing track of the days here, Sunday, so Saturday. So Friday, we did a lot of work. The guys put in a lot of work in their craft on, on shooting pucks and getting pucks to the net and getting them up over the goalies' pads. And, uh, you know, the D, the D worked on their shooting. You saw Croy score that goal top shelf here tonight, too. So I, I really thought that paid off, and that's a credit to our staff. You know, when, uh, when, when, when Chris takes that, that five-minute major, um, you know, there's, a, there's a little bit of a chance there for things to implode, and that's not what happened at all. You know, you scored on the, power, on the penalty kill, and, I thought that I thought the guys kept going all night. Is, is that kind of yeah. what you saw there? Yeah, I would agree. I didn't. I didn't think we stopped all night, and and uh, that was a big turning point because that that could have become, you know, we've had some tough tough uh, luck, let's call it, and and that could have been another tough spot for us. But we found a way, and we scored a shorty, and uh, that's one of our goals to lead the country in shorthanded goals. So it was great to see see the first one of the year go in, and and that's a big that's a big goal at that point in the game. I also thought the penalty or the, the power play was was real creative tonight. I thought um, just in, 
the, the passing was on point. I, I thought it looked really good. Yeah, again, that all the credit goes to the guys and, and the staff for Coach Phelan on the power play for uh, sticking with it. And it's obviously been, it would be real easy to get frustrated right now. We haven't maybe got the bounces that we wanted on the PP, but they, they've stuck with the plan. And uh, I, I thought you did a nice job with some adjustments on, on how we entered tonight. And uh, we were much faster and much cleaner. And that really helped us. Yeah, they, I think, you know, with the 7-2 game, the goalie sometimes gets outshined by the offense, but I thought Mike had a, a, a real good, solid game for you guys. Yeah, no, um, I, th I thought it was a great bounce back effort for him. Him and I had a nice chat about the Robert Morris game, and obviously he wasn't real pleased with his his outing uh, that night, but he just talked about how the pressure was off him. And, and uh, you could see it tonight. He looked a lot more calm, a lot more relaxed, and I thought he did a nice job handling the first shot. You know, from a resiliency standpoint, you know, you guys are down uh, Ludwig, um, and you're also, then you lose Harper, and two of your arguably better season players. Uh, How did you think the guys reacted to, to the adversity tonight? Yeah, I mean, I, I love our group. I thought they did a great job with it. I, I it's, uh, It feels like we just get a ton of adversity all the time. So uh, I feel like we're kind of used to adversity so far in my short time in the program. But I thought the guys did an unbelievable job responding and guys stepping up, obviously, with Ludwig out. And Chris Harper is a big loss for us just with the intensity and the passion that he plays with. And then obviously being the captain and his leadership ability. So th those were two good players that we missed. and. More importantly, the, the uh, people that they are and, and the, the leadership they provide us. So they were missed, but I thought Jack did a great job stepping up. Jack Billings and Justin Kendall was flying around tonight and provided a lot of juice for us and a lot of energy that was very noticeable. And that certainly kind of relayed to our team. You know, then Joseph Misak has those two goals. That's so it's kind of be fun to see that from the back end. Yeah, no, it's it's uh, you know that's a, that's a goal of ours as an organization is that we want our D involved in the play and obviously I thought they were all very involved tonight with Misak and Croy had a goal and uh, I thought we made nice a lot of nice plays uh, from the back end and and again something we've been working on and and those guys spent some time shooting pucks and it, it really looked like everybody's confidence was was a little higher tonight than in the past. And coach, kind of my last question, um, just with, with Christian Gorsuch, I, I thought he, uh, he had two really great plays where he, he created opportunities for um, uh, Cox's goal and then I think the Mosky's goal there. Uh, what did you think of his game and, and where he's come? Um, yeah, no, it's, it's exciting, right? He's a, he's a really good person. He's got great fabric. He did great in school this, this semester. And then as a player, it just seems like every game he gets better and better. And I think the guys really appreciate him as a teammate, a first year guy. You know, the compliments that the first year group has gotten is they don't, it doesn't seem like they're first year guys. It seems like they've been on the team for a long time. And part of that is Christian's maturity and uh, how committed he is to the craft of being a hockey player, right? It's not just about points, but he does a lot right. He defends well, he tracks well, breaks the puck out well. And uh, we're real excited to watch his future and his development because he's good now. I think he's only scratching the surface how good he can be. Yeah. Um, well, I do have one, I lied. I have one last question if you're up for it. Uh, that boarding call uh, in a second, would you have liked to see them review that? I did. I asked them to review it. They kind of gave me the no way. And it's, yeah, I think I might have booed them on that one. So it, it's just, <laughs> I, I just, it's just baffling sometimes. I mean, I hate, I don't want to be critical of the officials, but it's just hard to protect. Why do they go look at stuff? Why don't they? It just doesn't seem yeah, to have any yeah. rhyme or reason to anything. And trying to control 19 to 24 year old men that are in the middle of a heated, campaign and you don't go it just doesn't make any sense so I again I thought our guys did a nice job staying calm if anybody was worked up on the bench tonight it was me and uh yeah I, didn't, I don't understand why they didn't look at that so that's a long-winded answer to your question <laughs> thanks folks I appreciate it yeah thank you